You're the first player to have a majority ownership. And you're Michael Jordan. <laughs> you know, you have like a triumphant of right. expectations placed on you. How do you envision that? Well, I mean, I'm at a disadvantage in most owners because uh, I set certain expectations from a player standpoint. I have a competitive nature about making sure this thing is successful. Uh, I have my own standards or goals that I set for myself as an owner. I have something that a lot of other owners may not have and don't have is, is understanding for the game itself and how I can apply my knowledge of playing the game to enhance the business aspect of what, you know, what I'm involved in. So when Bob brought me in, you know, he brought me in as a, as a basketball consultant. I allowed and respected him to make the, ba the business decisions. He allowed me to make the basketball decision. And what was asked of me was never to be in the forefront of this organization. Now that I'm investing in a team, and now my reputation or my financial commitment is at risk, where else would I be? I got to be up front, you know, and I expect it to be up front once I make that commitment. Michael Jeffrey Jordan, he has vowed to be more visible. He is here in close proximity to the Charlotte bench. You've moved from the box where you <laughs> head to right. now you're on the floor. You're right. near the floor. Right. What impact is that going to have if an official looks at you or a player looks over and says, there he is? Uh, I hope a lot. I know David may not like this, but, you know, some teams need to earn that respect. And I think we're one of those teams. We're not the Celtics. We're not the Bulls. We're not that historic background. And I want the fans to see that I'm just about passion, passion about winning as they're investing to come and see the team. And, yeah, I'm going to get on the referees. If I can intimidate the referees <laughs> to, to look at our team in a different manner, you know, I'm going to do that. Knowing your competitive spirit, as I do. How significant was it for you that this team made the playoffs? I wanted to make the playoffs because I felt like uh, it signifies change. We needed a shot in the arm, you know, in Charlotte. You know, they, they've they been very supportive for years about their team. And I felt like us making the playoffs would give us that jolt going into a new season with new owner, with a new opportunity for that team. And this is not good. Larry Brown has been thrown out of the game by Bill Sporey. Michael, what has your relationship with Larry Brown been like so far? We both took on the initiative that we were going to work together and try to see if we can turn things around for Charlotte. The relationship has been great. You know, it's been well respected on both sides. And we utilize our experience and our knowledge about the game and evaluate how that's going to benefit the team. The boss is happy. <laughs> Playoff atmosphere in Time Warner Cable Arena. You guys are in the playoffs. Orlando Magic. What do you have to do to be successful against them in the playoffs? We got to take care of the basketball. We got to control the tempo. I kind of correlate our participation you know, this year against Orlando like when we played. You know, mm -hmm. Chicago played you know, Shaq back in the day. You know, we knew Shaq was a force. Somehow we got to neutralize Howard and not allow these other guys, their perimeter players, to hurt us in a double team scenario. NBA record threes in a season. And uh, if we can do that, then we have we give ourselves a shot. 